Hello, hi, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon, and I pray that you will share this video because I really want to get it to everyone that's in the United States and the world, but mainly in the United States right now because of everything that's going on. You have to understand. You do something. I want to read the Ten Commandments. That's right, I want to read the Ten Commandments. What we started off with. It's what we're going to end with. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If you don't understand me, just stay with me. The first commandment is, Thou should have no other gods before me. Ask yourself, what has America done? Money, sex, lust, pornography. Sound like gods to me. Thou should not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. That's pictures even of angels that you have in your house. He say, any graven image or likeness to anything. People get mad, but it's the truth. Um, I had something, you know how you have those little water things, and I had the black Jesus in there. This was like years ago. And I just used to like that thing, and I would say, oh, that's my black. And one day it just fell by itself. I never brought anything like that again. That's just my story, but it's truth. Third commandment, thou should not take the Lord, the name of the Lord thy God in vain. People are doing it every day now. Blasphemy. Talking about God, talking about God's people. I, as if one day you don't have to answer for it. Because right now, it looks like it's not. You know how God repay you for things or punish you? It looks like it's not coming, so you're big and bad. And you say when you do what you want to do and you say what you want to say. Praise God. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. I don't care what the Roman Catholic Church have done, and they did with Constantine. They changed the Sabbath. The Sabbath have always been on Saturday. Sunday is sun worship. Protestant churches all across America, you are babies of Roman Catholic because you know better. And I know that because one of my pastors, and, and he said it, I asked him, because I wanted to know when I was a baby in Christ, I said, what about Saturday? So he started having, he had services on Saturday, but mainly because the Roman Catholic Church has Sunday, <laughs> church on Sunday. Everybody has church on Sunday. Y'all don't understand. You're breaking the law. That's sun worship. But because everybody's doing it, and that's what kind of society we live in, by the way, everybody's doing it. <laughs> he said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Commandment number four. Commandment number five. Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days may be long among the land, within the Lord thy God give it thee. You curse, you curse out your mothers, your fathers, and we're talking about grown people too. And you wonder why you're having such a bad luck, or you wonder why. These commandments are real, whether you like it or not. I don't care how old your mother get. I don't care how old your father get. It's alright to be angry, but only go to a certain point. That's your mother and that's your father. Whether you like it or not. But y'all just say anything. Do anything. You got children killing their parents these days. Again. Look what America have allowed. Sixth commandment. Thou should not kill. <laughs> That's a joke right? Thou should not kill everybody. You get so angry. You don't pray about anything. I'm going to handle my business. What your, what your business is. Because at the end of that thing, whether you die and go to heaven or hell, you're going to have to answer to God about taking care of your business. And you got the, the government dressed up mafia, gangsters, killing too. Got the police killing. Still, thou should not kill. Period. Self-defense. If a person, you know, I, I, I think God forgives that. And to be honest with you, I, I think God forgives murderers too. But still no, thou should not kill. Seven, thou should not commit adultery. <laughs> People in the church right now, you, you leaders are doing it with men, women, having sex, adulterous affairs. You think God is something to be played with and mocked. And then you got the nerve to get mad. At the true people of God. Now I'm not saying that you're not a true person of God. I'm just saying that you're a Pharisee and a Sadducee. You want to please the people. In front of everybody. And, and, and trust me I haven't been in that game. Because when I was in LA. I'm, oh I, I'm going to tell it tonight. I know that they told that woman. Make her over. 
So they put diamonds on me. They had me dressing all nice. Had me talking instead of my my countryness. I was, hello, how you doing? My voice all hurt, and I'm acting all. I, one day, I heard God say, "You're fake," and I'm like, "Well, who said that? Who said that?" And so when I got home, God said, "I said it. That's not you. You're trying. They're trying to make you to be something that you're not, Deanna. And don't think I don't like nice things. Don't think." Because I, I have a degree. I can go anywhere. I can go to hood. I can go, I can go, I can say eloquent words. I promise you. Ask anybody that knows me. I'm very smart and I'm not bragging. Hello. But God said, I want you just to be real, Deanna. Some of you are not real. And that's why the body of Christ is suffering. Because you leaders sit up there and talk about prosperity, prosperity, money. Now you got everybody looking to be rich, looking to be the best, looking to be anointed. Because now y'all have equated materialism with anointing. If you got that nice house, if you hang with this person, that person. Oh, come on, somebody. I know what I've because I've seen it for 20 years. And y'all all rolled in the same clip. And if somebody make y'all mad. I'll put the word out on me because that's what they did me. They put the word out on me. Oh, come on, somebody. And I ain't scared to say it. You put the word out on me. Oh, she rebellious. Oh, you, 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 you can't control her. You're right. You can't control me because I live for God. I respect you, but I live for God. And God is tired of this foolishness. The reason why the church and, and the earth is messed up because of you leaders. You did not do your job before God. And now people dying out here and even in the church because you didn't do your job because you thought you were all that. You sitting up here building these many kingdoms. Oh, yes, I'm heated tonight. Because this stuff that's happening all over the world is the church fault. You're supposed to have God, a spirit of anointing and healing. And people are not being healed and delivered. Chicago, murder rate high. But yet John Eckhart could activate everybody around the world. But he can't activate Chicago? And I'm crazy? No, y'all crazy. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all running around here, flying all over the world, activating people. Or uh, giving these conferences. Or oh, all oh, the power of God. Well, where is the power of God? Because I don't see it and God don't see it. Quit playing. Yeah, I'm mad. Because people are dying. And believe it or not, it's the church's fault. You might not want to touch that. But you just wait till judgment day. We're going to all have to answer. And that's me too. What did you do and what you didn't do? Now these people out here, they don't give, we have a generation right now that don't know God. And that's your fault. And I'm going to go ahead and throw myself in there too because I'm part of it. Hello, somebody. This ain't no game. Y'all sit up there, you know, y'all want to wanna be a Pharisees and Sadducees. You know, uh, uh, you want to act like you're upper and higher and arrogant. And yet people are dying because they don't want to come into churches. Because when they come into churches, y'all look them up and down. And I've seen it. I've seen when y'all ran people away because they didn't have money and they smelled bad or they came in just from a night of partying or getting high. I didn't saw what y'all run them out the truck. I saw with my own eyes and I cried that day. I never forget I cried. And I said, God, don't let me be like that. So I don't care if y'all don't like me because at least I'm real with God and myself. Yeah, I'm a little country too. Hello. But at least I'm telling the truth before God. Hallelujah. Let me keep going on because I, I went off of that one. Thou should not commit adultery. Y'all do it. Y'all lust in your heart. Even in church. You, you, you wear what you want to wear. God told you to return to the holy garment. Y'all ain't even trying to do that because y'all want to look good. Every time I look at them flyers that y'all promoting, conferences here and there, y'all look like Hollywood stars. You don't look like no soldier. So keep your makeup on. <laughs> Because you so can't come in this spiritual bar with that. Oh, I, I, and I'm not talking about just makeup. I'm talking about you not dressed for war. Hallelujah. You don't have your breastplate on. You don't have your armor on. And that's why our people are dying. Because what they see is a facade. You, you, hold on. You on the flyer? It's a war. That's a war. And you on the flyer? Really? I'm heated. Yes, I'm heated. Because God's people are dying. I really didn't want to get on here and do a, I think, a video tonight. God pricked my heart. I did be. Because, you know, I'm going through some things, some challenges. But that's all right. Praise be God. I got up because God said, Deanna, I want you to speak to my people. I want you to speak to my people. Hallelujah. You see, y'all interested in numbers and members, but I'm interested in the truth. Because one thing about the spirit of truth, it'll hit you where it's supposed to hit you in the spirit. 
We have a generation that don't know God. And that's why they dying out there. They're not dying out there just because of the cops. Come on, somebody. They're not dying out there. Oh, no. Let's get through the really nail gritty of this. The church have not done its job. Y'all come in. You have fast food churches, man. All y'all want to do is money. Three to four services. People are not getting healed and delivered. They don't know the spirit of God. They don't know the word of God. And therefore, they act not of God. That's why they're doing that. That's why they're thinking they can do it in rage and anger and retaliate back in such a manner, which is not of God. Because they don't trust you church people. Because they know that you come in there and you talk about them. Y'all did it to me. Yes, y'all did. When I didn't conform, y'all put the word out on me, tell people this, 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 this. And I cried. I ain't gonna lie, I cried. But then thank you, Jesus, I got strong in the Lord. And I realized I don't need you. I realize that the people that's supposed to love me gonna love me. The people that's supposed to reject me gonna reject me. Thank you, Jesus, anyway. I'm still here. And I serve him wholeheartedly. And I ain't mad at you. I still love you all. Even the ones that I know talk about me. Hello. You know this is a small world, but a big world. They get back. I still love you. But I'm just upset because we're not doing our job. Y'all sitting up there preaching about prosperity and, and you want to activate people and, 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 and you, want, you, want, you want the spirit of God. What, what, what is the spirit of God? What is God really concerned with? God is concerned with souls. And souls are dying out there. So what you're saying? Huh. Yeah, I went off. Whew. I have the heart of God. If God hurt, I hurt. And God is hurting right now. His people are dying. And, and I guess y'all think that's not his people because they thugs or, or whatever, huh? Mike Brown. Trayvon Martin. The rest of them. Y'all don't see? Thou should not steal. Y'all steal every day. Y'all rob God. Tithes, offering. Y'all rob God's people. I know things happen sometimes that people don't really. Sometimes you get in situations where you can't help it. You know, you borrow something or somebody loan you something. Yeah, I'm going there. And people think you didn't do did them wrong, not understanding this is spiritual warfare. Yes, I'm saying it. Y'all still. Y'all still. You got prophets still in prophecies. If God didn't tell you it, yes, you can steal prophecies. Yes, every prophecy is for the world. But if you stole it and act like God gave it to you, that's deception, which is witchcraft. Hello. But y'all love that. Oh, y'all love that. Because guess what? They can bring in the money. Church has become a lucrative business. And yet God's people are dying. And we're supposed to be okay with that? I will not be okay with that. I don't care if I got to stand by myself. But don't worry because they got a crew behind me unseen. Because just like Jesus said, if, if I want, I can call on legions of angels. When you are doing it the right way, God will gird you. It don't matter who like you or who accept you and who talk about you. And I, I, I'm, I'm talking to someone because God have told you to step out and you're still in that ministry thinking you need them people. You don't need them. Because that spiritual abuse, that's another thing y'all doing. All that spiritual father and mother stuff. Let me tell you something. It's not biblical, but y'all will sit up there and say it. I'm not saying mentorship is not biblical, but, but y'all doing too much. Y'all are trying to control people. That's God's people. Get mad at me if you won't. Hmm. Commandment number nine. Thou should not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Y'all do it. Y'all do it. Y'all do it. Y'all get mad at people if they try to leave the church. If they do leave the church, you tell people this, that, that, that. Try to get people to, as a matter of fact, I've seen this. Where if they don't operate how you want them to operate, everybody in the church looking at them. That hurts a person. But that's the same thing. Why, why would, because you got mad at them, so now you want everybody else to be mad. That's a witchcraft. That's a witchcraft in the church. And y'all know y'all do it. Instead of just have a meeting and say, you know what? What does Paul say in Corinthians? Restore thy brother and thy sister. But no, y'all you know, wrong. I had some leaders uh, uh, love this man of God. And he, he did the same thing to me. And I forgive him. And he yet to pick up that phone and say, and call me. And I know God put it in his spirit because God keep putting it in mind. You know you're supposed to call me and say that you're sorry. But because you're all up there, who, who is she? That's just Deanna. God going to get you. Oh, yes, I'm going in tonight. The last one, thou should not covet. Y'all covet all the time. Y'all, everybody trying to make a dollar. Everybody, even on Facebook, you want the most likes. 
You want people to, to come to your page. You want people to um, know that you have the anointing of God. Yeah, people out here dying. God is not pleased. And all you arrogant leaders, I ain't mad at you, man, because most of you, you know me. And you know I'm very strong. So there's nothing you can say or do to hurt me. Even though I have cried about some things because I think it's unfair. How could you say, I love God and I serve God, but hate your brother and your sister that you see? Biblically, you are liar before God. But I'm, I am pleading. The leaders that love God's people, start making videos and let these black men know, let these black women know, stop acting and reacting in rage. That's what they want. They want to push that martial law. They know that the black race is one of the races they're going to have some problems with. I'm not saying we're the only race that has strength. I'm not saying that. But everybody can see what's going on here. The whole world sees. All these, all these murders, that's hits. Don't play me because let me tell you something. I pray hard. And I know some people, you know, I've had people say, oh, really? God talks to me 24 hours a day. Why me? I don't know. Ask him. And I know what I've been hearing all day. God is grieved in the spirit because that's still his people out there. No, they might be thugs to you. They might be druggies to you. They might be nothing to you. But that's still a soul. Are they not worth praying? Are they not worth doing a video and letting them know that's not the way we're going to have to fight this war? You cannot fight a spiritual war in the flesh. It cannot be done. But because the church have not done their job, that's all these people know. That's all these young people know. Why do you think they kill each other? All this anger. And because they see y'all going around doing this, 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 this. Let me tell you something. I've never came against a person unless God told me to. And then I did it in love. I'm not mad at nobody. I may throw your name out there. I might say what does say the Lord. I'm not mad at you. And if you really want to know, message me. I'll give you my number. Because what I said once, I can say it again in a godly fashion. But y'all act like y'all not reading this Bible. I don't know what Bible y'all read. But in this Bible, I've done everything biblically. If you have a problem, I've tried to call some of y'all. Y'all won't answer. Tell you what does say the Lord. God won't get you. God is going to get you. But some of you, or most of you, are in a reprobate mind. So you don't even hear what I'm saying. It's just gibberish. It's foolishness to you. God is not pleased, people. We have not led by example as a church. That don't hurt your heart. And it seems like everybody just want an agenda. And then you're scared. You're scared of the truth. You know, doggone well, these people planning martial law. You know what they're planning. And most of you won't even open your mouth and say anything because you're scared. And I never thought I'd see a generation that's scared of the devil. Or what you might lose, let's be real about that. Because some of you, you signed that FEMA paper. Oh, hallelujah to his name. Well, I'm going to tell you something, generation of the lost right now. But I'm going to say God go find them. I will be praying for our youth. I will be praying for every city, every state. I'm not going to stop fasting. So I'm probably going to lose a lot of weight. <laughs> and, and like some of y'all be commenting, um, you know, overweight is a sin. Let me tell you something. You can't break me because you didn't make me. So you, you, all them little, sh all that shade y'all be, I, I use it as fuel. Keep it coming. I use it as fuel. Hello, how you doing? <laughs> well, you got the right one, not the wrong one. You got the right one. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God picked the right one. I love him. I love. Thank you, Jesus. I couldn't understand why I went through all that hell. That was to stand as I stand today, not scared of anything, and waiting. But I know one thing. I love God's people. And I'm very transparent. There's no lying in me. Anybody that know me personally can tell you that. And God is not pleased with what's happening. And you black leaders, you haven't stood up. The only time you really stand up is a high profile case. Because y'all scared. Y'all know Mr. O is going to pull that martial law. And you're trying to save your family. Oh, come on somebody. I'm going to tell the truth in here tonight. You're trying to save you and yours. God won't get you. Because guess what? Are we not the children of Israel? <sighs> okay, I got to end this. So I just pray. Right now, 
the best thing we can do is pray. God will fight for us. That's what God told me to tell you. He said, I will fight for you. We don't have what they have. These people are very powerful. They got weapons. And as you can see, they pay people off. Cheryl Underwood. Y'all need to stop stop spreading that. So all of a sudden, she's going to break down on live TV. And, and, and don't y'all understand that's another tactic to get people mad? She, so she wasn't crying for Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown? <laughs> None of that was, come on. Alton Sterling? Is she going to cry now? Everybody that's in the limelight in Hollywood, they're like puppets. So don't play with me. Don't play with me. Because I know what God showed me. And y'all don't even see it. Because if they got a little money, then they somebody to y'all. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I told the truth up in here tonight. So God bless you. And I, I, I'm, not, I'm not mad. There's a difference between angry and upset. People are dying. Needless, I mean, needlessly, man. Church not praying, not fasting. You still want to throw conferences and activate people. And Really? Are you trying to buy a bunker to go underground when all this stuff happens? Yeah, I said it. Y'all showed stacking y'all money. Mm hmm Yeah, I said it. <laughs> anyway, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. His own love. God bless.